VBAN674 here today and I'm going to be teaching you how to do muzzle flashes with Final Cut Pro X. So the first thing you're going to need is Final Cut Pro X, the software, and you're also going to need uh, your video clip of you shooting. So here I have, I have mine, it's just my hand, it's obviously not a gun. So this is the clip I'm going to be using today. And you're also going to need your muzzle flash. Uh, if you're doing a machine gun, I recommend getting a video. But if you're just doing a pistol, you can just use the JPEG. So that's what I have here is a muzzle flash JPEG. Now yours is going to probably have a back black background like mine does. That's okay. That's what we're going to fix here. So with the black background, just drag it down to wherever you want it. So I'm shooting right about... Right about there. So I'm going to just place it there. And then you probably want to shorten it. Okay, so now when you play it, it's going to look like that, and you probably don't want that. So to take the black background away, you're going to go to Effects. Sorry about that. You can go to Effects on the right-hand side, and you're going to go to Keying, and you're going to click on Luma Keyer. So you're going to drag that over to the muzzle flash video, not to this video, to the muzzle flash video, and then your flash should look like that. So the black background is gone, but you still probably don't want it that big. So you're going to resize it if you click that button, and you can make it smaller, and then you can flip it. In my case, I'm going to flip it. Let me move mine back. Okay, so then I can drag it to wherever I need it. It's right about there. That's probably not perfect. I don't want to take too much time to make it perfect. So when you play it, it should look like this. That's obviously too long, but that looked like it was sized correctly. Yep, yeah, that looked pretty good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, and comment also.